This fish is great at hide and seek. But trust us, you don't want to play against him. This is a stargazer. A nice name for a nasty customer. When he's ready to feed, he buries himself in the sand and he sticks out his worm-like tongue to lure his prey. Then he uses his venomous spines to give his dinner an electric shock, up to 50 volts. So, uh, yeah. Let's talk about some other animals with amazing abilities. And let's stay on dry land. Or actually, 150 feet above it. These wild goats, called ibex, are able to climb this nearly vertical dam in Italy. Their hooves have sharp edges, and they act as suction cups to grip the rocks. Basically their own built-in climbing gear. And they make it look easy. They do this so they can lick the salt from the mineral-rich stones. It's basically one big salt lick. And the view is not so bad either. This little guy is half lizard, half scuba diver. Meet the water anole. He uses this huge air bubble on his head to breathe underwater. In fact, he can stay under for up to 16 minutes. And counting. It's an easy way to hide from predators or just get away from the hustle and bustle. The next time you're strolling on a beautiful white sand beach, be sure to thank this guy, the humphead parrotfish. Because, yep, these fish poop sand. Lots and lots of sand. Their big sharp teeth are made of fluorapatite the second hardest biomineral on Earth. And they use those teeth to chow down on coral and turn that coral into sand. A recent study found the sand on Vakaru Island is 85% from parrotfish. Thanks, parrotfish, 